What's going on guys, it's hockey at 66871 here and today we're going to be doing my NHL prediction for the 2019-2020 season. Um, so we're going to start in the Western Conference. Uh, I'm just going to go through some of my thoughts about each team, the standings and do the playoffs at the end. So, in the, so we're going to start off with the Central and I think Dallas does win the Central based on all the moves they did this offseason. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, with Corey Perry coming in. Um... Joe Pavelski, I think Ben Bishop's going to have a hell of a year. So I think with all those guys there, Dallas has a really good team. I think they get 120 points and win the President's Trophy as well. In second place in their division, I have the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, they finished very strong last year. 100, I think they're going to get 116 points. Second best seed in the NHL. Uh, McKinnon's going to, I think he's going to win the scoring title this year. I think he's going to win the Hart. Um, I think he's going to maybe even be a Ted Lindsay finalist. So I, I really think the Avalanche have a really, really good team this year. Third place, um, the Stanley Cup champions, uh, St. Louis Blues, 105 points. Uh, Jordan Bennington is going to have a hell of a year. He Look what he did in the playoffs last year. Um, so I think he's going to continue that. And um, he's going to get the Blues back into the playoffs. And who knows, maybe they will go back to back. I really don't think so. Um, so fourth place, and this will be a wild card team, the Nashville Predators. Yes, losing Subban really sucks, and I think that's going to hurt their blue line. But they did bring in Matthew Shane, but, I mean, they got nothing for Subban. They didn't get much. So I, I'm a little nervous about that for Nashville. I don't. I think Subban was a huge loss on their blue line. They still have... Yo, see, still have Ellis. They still have really good defensemen. I just think it's going to be a lot weaker without P.K. Subban. Um, in fifth place is the Winnipeg Jets with 90 points. I mean, look at all the guys they lost. Tyler Myers, Truba. Will Patrick Lina get signed? Will Kyle Connor get signed? It's not looking like it. So I don't think they make the playoffs this year. Hellebuck is another concern for me. Is he going to be the Hellebuck of two years ago? Or is he going to be the Hellebuck that was very inconsistent? Um, so, sorry Winnipeg fans, I don't see you in the playoffs this year. Um, and sixth place have Chicago, 88 points. I mean, they didn't do that much this offseason. So, I, I, I don't know. I mean, they have a new head coach, Jeremy Carlton. He, I feel they had stretches where they were good last year, but they also had stretches where they were absolute crap. So, I don't. I don't know what to expect with Chicago. Their team, I think, can either finish at the top of the standings or at the very bottom of the standings. Um, and last in the division, Minnesota Wild. I mean, they're not getting any younger. I mean, I mean, they, they didn't play well last year. They were pretty inconsistent. Dubnik is a big concern. He was very inconsistent the last couple years. Um, so I don't. I see him getting 85 points, um, and they. I think they get last in their division. So we move on to the Pacific. Um, first place have the Calgary Flames. Um, if David Riddick can play the way he did, if not, I think Calgary is screwed. I have him getting 108 points. Um, Johnny Goudreau, hell of a player. Mark Giordano, Norris Trophy defenseman. Um, I think he's one of the best in the league. Um, so I think Calgary has a... I think they're going to finish at the very top or they can finish at the very bottom. It depends on, I think, how David Riddick does. Second, I have Vegas getting 100 points exactly. I mean, Marc-Andre Fleury is a hell of a goaltender. Um, you know, I've seen him for many years as a Penguins fan. So we know what he can bring. Uh, we know what he did in the playoffs a couple years ago, taking them to the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, I think Vegas is going to play better. I think that loss to San Jose is really going to, you know, strengthen their desire to win uh, because... I mean, they, they rolled over and quit in that game seven, so I think they're going to respond. I think they're going to have a good year. Uh, third place was a toss-up for me between Arizona and San Jose. I did pick San Jose, uh, 99 points. Losing Joe Pavelski hurts a lot. Eric Carlson, uh, injury questions. I mean, he was playing with injured most of last year. Is he going to be injured again this year? I don't know. Uh, he is one of the best defensemen in the league, but last year definitely was a down year for Eric Carlson. Brent Burns is still a hell of a defenseman. My opinion, the best defenseman in the league. Um, but I see him getting 99 points and getting the third place. Um, fourth place, and again, the last wildcard spot is Arizona Coyotes. 
Uh, Phil Kessel, hell of a player. I loved him when he was here. Uh, with 98 points, I think they did get the second wild card spot. So, I mean, I love the additions they made. Uh, I think if they can stay healthy this year, I mean, because last year they went on a really good run despite having so many injuries. I think if they wouldn't have had the injuries last year, they would have went. They probably would have made the playoffs. I mean, they would have. I guarantee it. Um, but I think if they stay healthy this year, they are going to be a very good team. Uh, fifth place uh, with 90 points, the Vancouver Canucks. I mean, Pedersen. We saw how good he was last year. I think he'll have a really good year. They got Besser signed. Uh, I don't see them quite making the playoffs yet. They're still a very young team. Uh, I would say they, they're within a couple years of making the playoffs. Um, I mean, they're definitely building something good there in Vancouver. Quinn Hughes is going to be a really good player. Uh, they're definitely a team that I think could surprise people this year. Uh, six, Edmonton with 85. I mean, I'll look at the team outside of McDavid and Dreisaitl. It's pretty much a crap team. I mean, they don't have, they don't have that number one goaltender. Mike Smith is a solid backup. Um, Koskinen, a solid starter in the AHL. Uh, they don't have that goal tonight. Their defense is crap. So I don't see Edmonton doing anything. I don't see them getting any better. I don't see them really getting any worse. I see them about the same. Anaheim, I see only getting 80 points and they get 7th. I mean, that, they're losing Corey Perry and Ryan Kessler is out for the year. I think that that's pretty bad for them. It's really going to hurt them. And um, I don't see them doing much this year. Even though John Gibson is a very good goaltender, but with all the guys, you know, out due to injury, and you know, Corey Perry going is just that's a huge blow. Um, in last place, uh, L.A. Kings, seventy-nine points. I mean, they didn't do much. I mean, yeah, they brought a new coach, Tom McCollin. He's a good coach. He was very good in San Jose. He wasn't. He didn't really do much in Edmonton except help them get the playoffs one year. So I don't see them getting any better. I don't really see them getting much worse. I, I don't know. How, I forgot how many points they had last year. But, uh, but I don't see them being very good this year. Uh, but we'll find out. Drew Doughty's a really good defenseman. Kobitar we know can play. Um, so we'll see. All right, so I'm moving on to the East. This is going to be where it surprised some people. We're going to start with the Metro. I'm going to show my Atlantic for last. Uh, for number one with 100 points, um, the Capitals. They win it every year, and they're going to win it again this year. I mean, Ovechkin, we know, is a hell of a goal scorer. Hope he's a really good goaltender. Backstrom is a good playmaker. So they have the pieces there, and I think they're going to still win the Metro Division. Uh, second place with 98 points is Carolina. I think they're going to build off a lot of last year, um, going all the way to the conference finals. Um, I think they're going to be another really good team this year. Uh, they got Ajo locked up long term, five years. Um, losing Justin Falk stings, but... Uh, I mean, they made some good moves. Uh, Rob Brindamore, I think, who I think should have won the Jack Adams last year. Uh, so he's a Rob Brindamore is a hell of a coach. I, I don't know why he wasn't even a finalist for the Jack Adams. I would have had him. I, I thought he was going to win it. Uh, third place, I have my Penguins. Uh, Ninety-seven points. Uh, losing Kessel stings and takes some goal scoring. But still got Jake Gensel. He's going to probably put up forty or fifty this year. Um, Sidney Crosby, the best player in the league. Malkin, I think, is going to have a really bounce, really good bounce back year. Latang, you know, he had a hell of a year last year. I think he'll be pretty good this year. Um, I just think the one thing the Penguins need to do is trade Jack Johnson because um, he's trash, plain and simple. The Penguins, I think, are a better team without Jack Johnson. Um, Ole Mata, they traded him. I was very happy to see him go. I was not a big Ole Mata fan, um, but I'll save that. I could probably do a whole video discussing <laughs> the penguins, the penguins this year. So fourth place, I think they get the second wild card spot is the Islanders, ninety five points. Um, I think I mean losing Leonard was bad. I mean Verlon was a pretty good goalie. Um, I just don't know if they're going to be able to have the same. I mean they had a hell of a year last year. I just don't think they're going to be as good. I still think they're going to get a wild card spot, but um, I could be wrong. Uh, fifth place, I have the Rangers. Uh, Kapo Kaka is going to have a really good year. Uh, they got Panarin. Lundqvist, he's getting old. I don't know how well he's going to do. Uh, 93 points. Uh, they're definitely going to be competing with the Islanders for that last wild card spot in the East. Um, I think they could even get it. I think they're going to have a very tough time. Um, sixth place, I have Philly uh, with 90 points. Carter Hart, um, he wasn't all that great. I mean, he was he had a 16-13, but he had a 9-17 save percentage. 
283 goals against isn't that good. Um, so I really, I, I mean, he, he had stretches where he was decent last year, but he had stretches where he looked really bad. So, I mean, he got pulled in several games. But he was, he had some good games, but he also had some bad games. So I don't see him taking the, the net to himself. I do think they're going to split half and half with him and Elliott. But we'll have to see. And seven, I think this surprised a lot of people. I have the New Jersey Devils with 85 points. Their goaltending is the concern for me. Yes, they got P.K. Subban. Yes, they got Wayne Simmons. Yes, they got Jack Hughes. But Corey Schneider is, he's terrible. I mean, he hasn't had a good season in a long time. He went over a year without winning a single game. So I don't think New Jersey is going to be any good. Uh, I just... If they, if they had a good goaltender, then I could say they could be competing with Pittsburgh and Washington and Carolina. But without a really good goaltender, I think they're screwed. Um, at eighth, I do have Columbus. Probably not a real big surprise. 75 points. I mean, look at all the guys they lost. Bobrovsky, Panarin, Duchesne, Dezingle. The list goes on and on. And they only brought in like, Gus Nyquist. So, uh, Corvassal is going to be your starting goalie. I don't think he's NHL ready yet. Um, but we'll have to see. Uh, I, I, I see them not doing very good this year at all. I see them getting a pretty high pick in the draft, but we'll have to wait and see. So in the Atlantic, uh, we're going to start at the bottom and go up because this is going to be actually... So number eight is Ottawa with 60 points. Doesn't really surprise anyone. I mean, they didn't do much this other. Yeah, they brought a new coach, but I don't... I mean, they're just going to be pretty bad. Uh, I do think they're going to get the worst seed in the league. Uh, Detroit, I think it's 85. I mean, they didn't do that much. I mean, Ken Holland's gone. They did bring in Steve Weiserman. Yeah. But I don't know if that's really going to be enough to get them into the playoffs. Um, I still think they're a very young team that's going to continue to rebuild. Six with 88 points is Buffalo. I mean, they had a hell of a start last year, but really after Christmas time, they just went downhill. They just could not. They had a 10-game winning streak, and then they just sucked. So I, I don't see them doing any better. I mean, I don't know how many points, I forget how many they had last year. Um, fifth is Montreal with 90. I mean, they, they almost made the playoffs last year. Um, I, I think I don't think they're going to make it this year, but um, I think they are going to do pretty good. And they, maybe we could see them maybe compete. Uh, it could, they definitely, I think, be competing with the Islanders and the Rangers and Philly for that final wild card spot. Um, so maybe we could see them get it. That last wild card spot in the East is going to be Really, for me, between Montreal, the Islanders, the Rangers, and the Flyers, I mean, it's going to be an epic battle for that final wild card spot. Fourth in the first wild card spot, this will be fourth in the conference. Uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, 105 points. Uh, I just don't see them being able to keep up with my top three teams. Uh, Toronto's a really good team. I'm surprised that they're able to keep Mitch Marner. Uh, will William Nylander have good? I mean, he was trash last year. I'm concerned about that. Um, I mean, their defense really isn't all that good. Um, so, we'll see. Number three, this might surprise a lot of people. I do have the Tampa Bay Lightning with 108 points. Vasilevsky is the question. He was horrible in the playoffs. Horrible. So, I don't know if he's going to be able to... I, I don't think he's going to keep up the same pace he did last year. I think he's going to have stretches where he's really good, and I think he's going to have stretches where he's really bad. It's plain and simple. I, I just don't think that he's going to carry the team to the number one spot again. Uh, second, no surprise, the Boston Bruins, 109 points. They went to the Stanley Cup final last year, um, and I think they can easily do it again this year. I mean, we'll do my bracket after this. Um, 109 points. Um, Patrice Bergeron is a hell of a player. Um, I mean, they are getting older. Chara is 42, I think. He might be he's 43 I, some soon. Um, Tuka Rask, I mean, he wasn't that great in the finals. Uh, but I still think he will have a hell of a year, uh, maybe even a Vesna trophy year. Um, number one, this is really going to shock people. I have the Florida Panthers winning the Atlantic Division, 110 points, the best seed in the conference. Hiring Joel Quenville for me was, I think, the biggest move they made. He is a hell of a coach. He knows what it takes to win. He's won in Chicago. He's won three cups. Uh, I think th with Bobrovsky in net, it, I think he's... They have a really dangerous team there. Connolly, um, Strawman, I really like all the moves Florida did. And with Barkov there, 
Trocek, Aaron Ekblad, I think you have a really good team there in Florida. Um, so I do think they win the Atlantic Division. Uh, so now, okay, so now we're going to move on to the playoff bracket. So in the East, we'd have Florida versus the Islanders, Boston versus Tampa, Washington versus Toronto, and Carolina versus Pittsburgh. So over the Panthers and Islanders, I do have Florida. Um, then Boston and Tampa, I'd have Boston. I just don't think Tampa has a snowball's chance in hell of doing anything in the playoffs based on what happened last year. I don't see them winning a cup anytime soon um, until they... I think Cooper, this is going to be Cooper's last year. I'm surprised he wasn't already fired. I would have fired him after probably game four um, because of what happened in the playoffs. So I think that will continue. Washington, Toronto. I think Toronto does win. I mean, Washington would have home ice, but Toronto would have more points. I still think Toronto wins that series. Then Carolina and Pittsburgh. Uh, Car Carolina, I think, will win. I think it'll be a tight series. Um, so then you've got Florida, Boston, Toronto, Pittsburgh. I think Boston beats Florida. Um, I think that would be a r really entertaining series. Um, then you have Toronto, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's always bad against Toronto. They, all, they never seem to win against them. I think Toronto goes to the conference finals against the Boston Bruins. So instead of just having Toronto and Boston meet in round one, I think they're meeting in round three. And yes, I think Boston wins and goes back to the Stanley Cup finals. In the West, you have Dallas and Phoenix or Arizona. Uh, I think Dallas wins that, but I think the Coyotes would give them a pretty tough test uh, with Kessel there, Ekman uh, Larson. Uh, Colorado, St. Louis, I think Colorado wins. Uh, Calgary, Nashville, I I think Nashville pulls that series off. I just don't... David Rick, I mean, he didn't play in the playoffs last year. Mike Smith did, so we'll see if David Rick is really good in the playoffs, but I, I, don't, I don't know. We, I never really seen him in the playoffs yet. Then we have... Vegas, San Jose. This time, I think Vegas wins, and they move on to the semifinals. So you have the da Dallas Stars and the Colorado Avalanche. I think that is going to be a really good series. I think Colorado takes it, and I think Nashville, Vegas, I think that's going to be another really fun series to watch. So two of the loudest fan bases in the league. I do think Vegas beats Nashville. So you have Colorado and Vegas. I think Colorado goes to the Stanley Cup Finals to face the Boston Bruins. And I think the Colorado Avalanche are going to win the Stanley Cup this year. They have an incredible team on paper. Grubauer is going to be really good. McKinnon is going to put up a lot of points. You can maybe even argue that he could be the best player in the league. And he, I still think Crosby is the best player in the league. But I think McKinnon is definitely a number two. I do think McDavid is not as good as McKinnon. I think that he will carry the team. And they will win the Stanley Cup. They, if they don't win it this year, I'll... I mean, Dallas is another team I think has a really good shot at winning it um, with all the moves they made. Um, but I, I just think Colorado has, I just think Dallas with the President's Trophy is going to have a lot of pressure on them because the President's Trophy in years past has been more of a curse. Uh, look at Tampa. I mean, just look at all the teams that have won the President's Trophy that keep going out early. So that is my predictions for the NHL 2019-2020 um, season. Um, we are less than a week away from regular season. Uh, the preseason ends this weekend. Um, so like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think of my predictions. You can list some of your predictions below. And thanks for watching.